Hello everybody, don't mind the dogs. I have no clue where that barking is coming from. It has been as per usual, and I say this every single time, um, a hot minute since I've seen you. I'm Jasmine, welcome to my YouTube. Last time I made a YouTube video I was actually finishing finals for college and I did indeed graduate at, at home in my apartment. It was lovely and I feel a great weight has been taken off my chest. Praise the Lord. I haven't made an Alevis Almanac video. I haven't made a John Benton model fitness video. I haven't done much of anything after I graduated at the beginning of this month because I went to California to pick up my car and it was trashed and the girl I left it with did terrible things to it that are illegal and it was just really stressful. But I did get to get some of my clothes out of the trunk and that made me so elated because down in California, I obviously live my best life. I live my Cali girl summertime life 24 seven. Up in Alaska, I'm in like a down jacket all the time. I'm cold, it's cold right now. It is sunny though, well not today, but the sun is coming back and it's summertime and summertime is my favorite time of the year i am not a winter person i do not know why the hell i was raised in alaska well because my parents raised me here and they had jobs here and i am more of a summer person definitely a spring person i had my birthday so if you want to send me a gift hit up my venmo at jasmine Leva. like i said i did get to get some of my clothes out of the trunk of my car and they smelled like cigarette smoke because this girl also smoked in my car like what an asshole i washed them and now they are back in working order and i have vowed to not wear any black this summer like any shade of black i can wear black pants if i have to go to an event or something wear a little black dress fine but i am not wearing black and i the reason is is it doesn't make me feel good. I like bright colors. As previously mentioned, I am a spring summer. I was born in the springtime. I love flowers. I love happy things. I love growing things, things that are blooming, please God. That's why I was always running from the dark and the cold. And since the pandemic happened, I had to like live again in the dark and the cold. And I was like, hell no, this is not happening. I hated it. It was the worst year of my life, bar none. And from this point out, I'm on the up and up. If anyone comes in trying to spew their BS at me, I'm done with it. I'm trying to live a happier life. I'm trying to be the optimistic person I once was, and I'm gonna get the things that I want. Amen. That's my prayer every day. I'm gonna do what I need to do. I'm gonna get the things that I want, and I'm gonna go full throttle. It's it's, it's happening. I wanted to show you guys the things that were in the trunk of my car. The outfits that were in the trunk of my car that I never got to rock or I got to rock once or twice and I would never rock in Anchorage just because like where am I going? But I'm going to do it anyway because I'm alive and you should wear the clothes that you have in the time that you have them and just celebrate being alive and being young and being hot whatever age you are, whatever your body looks like. There's that scene in Shit's Creek where Moira is like you should take naked pictures to yourself and I stand by that I am not getting any younger I am not gonna get any hotter at least I don't think so because I'm like peak right now not that I'm at peak hotness but I like feel good about myself and I've been trying to like just be healthy and I haven't worked out and I've lost half my hair but you know what I'm just focusing on the goods so I'm going to show you some of the outfits that were in my trunk and that's going to be the YouTube video today we're just going to do it I'm also going to show you some bikinis that were in my trunk and some of them I'm just like getting rid of, like I just don't wanna deal with it. But one of my favorite ones was in my my trunk and my Jetta. And I'm just excited that I, I get it again and that things are like looking up. So without further ado, I'm gonna jump right into these outfits. Thank you so much for like having patience with me, for sticking with me, for going through all these changes. It's been a crappy year and I think things are gonna get better for you and for me, let's hope. Let's make it so. Okay, so this is my first outfit. My top. Urban Outfitters. My bottom is from Revolve. I think it's Lovers and Friends, but it's like a button-up skirt. Do you remember those pants you used to rip off in grade school? Those were sick. I think my brother had them because that's when clothes were pretty sexist. Not as sexist as they once were, but like they didn't make those button-up things for girls unless they were like pink and like booty shorts. But it's like a button-up skirt. Super cute. Hits right below my knee. I can pull it up higher or I can pull it down lower and it has an elastic band adorable i'm gonna put the links below just because i think like people should have this skirt so i don't really have a booty but hey 
and this top from Urban Outfitters cinches, makes me feel like I'm about to be like a milkmaid. We love that style, mwah. And I'm gonna jump into the next thing. Wow, I didn't realize when I put it on that this was a button and it's a little small. So let's see if it'll put none of these dumbass nails on. Okay, I decided to change the camera angle and make it upright so you can see my full body. The second outfit that I got in the trunk of my car that I left with as I go back um, was this, is this. I have a bra on underneath, but cute tank top that I got at PacSun like two years ago. Uh, very in style with the florals, the button up, adorable. It's kind of tight down here and it's like a bodice-y type thing, like more corset. These are girlfriend jean bottoms that I got at Revolve and they're pretty loose, loving that, feeling good. Love the back, here's the front. We love it. Okay, I'm just gonna keep the same shorts on. This little tank top number was from Urban Outfitters. I love lilac, I love the color purple. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Let's do this, watch out for these bingo arms. But hello Summer, we're here. We are here and we're doing the damn thing. Probably wouldn't wear a bra with this. Perfect cover up for a swimsuit. I'm sure these are still on Urban Outfitters so I'm gonna put the link below. But honestly, oh my God, why was this left in my car? Oh yeah, that's right, because I came up to hell where I couldn't wear this stuff. So, we love it. It's cute, it's happy, it's popping. It reminds me of better times. Next shirt. This is one of those tops that I'm like, what was I thinking when I bought this? It's cute. It's red, not really my color, but that's okay. Um, it's adjustable, obviously, because you have to tie the straps. However, how you know how to adjust it? Okay, how do you know how to adjust it? I don't know. So I just kind of guesstimated, but this is one of those tops that you need a significant other or to live with your parents or have a roommate for. And since I have literally none of those things, um, just annoying to put on, because like, I could tighten it now, but who wants to spend all that time putting on a shirt? It also has those hanger straps, which I hate, and I cut out of like everything, but then when you need them, you're like, where the hell are the hanger straps? And like your past self has forsaken you. I do like that it's like stretchy and sweet. I feel like a little farm girl in it. Not my fave, but why did I leave this in the trunk? What was I thinking? This is cute. Definitely hottest girl at the grocery store vibes, but not necessarily something I would rock every day, but whatever. Next outfit. I brought home a lot of swimsuits and I'm not gonna show you all of them because some of them I'm definitely not keeping, but I will show you one from Isla Blue that I love so much and it is one of my favorite swimsuits. I think I've had it for like four or five years and I'm, I'm just gonna do it. I have no clue what to show YouTube anymore, so this is what you get. Here we go. All right, here is that top from Isla Blue. I pulled the um, liners out of it just now because they got tangled in my washer. But that to say, it is adjustable in two ways. So you pull it on from the front, you put your arms in like you're a baby, and then you tie the back, which is great because you can do it what? Alone, which is what so many of us are. I love this top, I love Isla Blue, I think it's one of the best brands and so underrated, like no one has heard about this brand, but it's beautiful stuff, it's designed and made in Hawaii and we just know that people down in Hawaii know what the frick they're doing. So this is it, and actually I think this is the last outfit I'm gonna show you because most of the other outfits are black and we're not wearing black or their t-shirts or whatever. So this top from Isla Blue, Oh my God, so cute. I didn't wanna show you the bottoms, but they're ruffled and they're in a different video somewhere. And this is just stuff I found in my trunk um, because I have no video ideas. So yeah, maybe I'll do like a video essay about a movie or something, you know, stuff that you guys like, or show you eventually my apartment and the things I have done to it. But to be honest, I don't plan on staying in Alaska. I plan on getting the hell out of Dodge. 
where I go from here, I have no idea. Uh, if you want to have your input heard, drop a comment below. I would love to hear from you guys anyway. Hit me up on Instagram. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all later when I do more hauls. I have no money, but we'll make it happen. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you're healthy. I hope you're safe. And I hope that this summer is everything you've ever imagined. I love you all.